Uh, second term. Short. Yes. Hmm. Spooky high. The sweetest years of our lives. Or should I say this is the faster version, so back then we were young and unafraid. <laughs> it's the same stuff. So I know. I'm just gonna skip through it. Yes. Well, you're gonna be red. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Let's do this! <laughs> then I will be the dark man this time. Okay. Uh, my, my name is none of those. Sure is it. You know you can use your keyboard, right? I know, but there's now a cat on my lap instead, so... Oh. I will be a he, because look at him. I, I can do this. <laughs> I can do this. I remember it clearly. Two weeks left. I see, I see. We we're trying to get the people of our eight most charismatic people. We now have Calculester and the crazy tentacle lady. We sure do. <laughs> and Scott. Scott. <laughs> so we got Scott. We've got Miranda. We got Miranda. <laughs> click, click, click. We got Polly we got Geist. Polly. <laughs> We got Damien. Mm. Look at him. <laughs> we, we got, got Liam. Liam the Lion Corp. The hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he is truly just a lovable dork. A truly lovable dork. Zoe? <laughs> it's Zoe. I mean, it could be Zoe. It doesn't have to be Zoe. No, it's Zoe. It could, it could be Zoe. <laughs> it's not Zoe, it is Zoe. It could be! An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realm to ultimate fangirl. Calculester. Hewlett Packard. Ah, <sighs> uh, Jack. <laughs> a library computer who had, beco had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. <laughs> and Vera. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who's a capitalist pig? <laughs> well, we only have two weeks. Wow. But as I said, we were horn dogs and wanted to hurry it up. Yep. Wow. Let's see how your mind is fucked up. A radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? Uh, rabies? Uh, probably in the hospital. The superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis to get the desired reaction from all people. Seducing my loved ones, burning my enemies, setting any argument, or settling, I should say, any argument, and even conveying complex emotional thoughts. Or the incredible power of writing fan fiction so compelling that the actual creators of the TV shows decide to go with my ideas and crazy shit. <laughs> Sorry, had to be me. That, that one had to be you. I'm gonna go. Uh -huh. with, I'm gonna go with rabies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which animated object do you think would make for the the best girlfriend or boyfriend, provided you went criminally insane? A human-sized pillow depicting a character created by yourself. Gotta love those OCs. And as a matter of fact, I have uh, all the needed paperwork and uh, I'm the only waiting for the conservative narrow-minded laws of our country to finally step forward into waifu and husbando territory as we clearly intended by God. An ATM! Sugar baby for life, here I come! A dildo duh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna have my person uh, enjoy money this time. Okay. <laughs> Not be a weeaboo. That's so fun. Wow. <laughs> uh, chased the naked. That's a. <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nikita the Nipples. Duchess Henrietta Honey Lips the Third. Max Pleasure Module 3000. <laughs> Excuse you, I wouldn't be the stripper, honey. I'm the pimp. 
Well, seeing as uh, uh, I am, have an ATM as a sugar daddy, I'm not so sure that I'm the pimp. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I used naked. It, it goes with my uh, my actual screen name, so <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> oh god. Uh, just because I think it's hilarious, I'll go with the kawaii. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, woo. <laughs> oh, um, I'm going for the tentacle lady. Your partner just gave you a cool gift for your anniversary, but you totally forgot. Quick, come up with an idea for a great gift. <laughs> a friendly a with what wobbly eyes. Lol. An uh, art commissioned by Picasso. Uh, a silly toy that makes silly noises. Anything capable of leading them in to an overdose of some sort? What? A pony. Oh, Always funny. a pony. Abstract concept of gratefulness. <laughs> oh, gotta do like a the, Roomba. I'm stuck between the silly toy and the Roomba. <laughs> I like the Roomba. And I can't get an art commission by Picasso. I'm pretty sure he's not alive. <laughs> he's not. So. Oh. <laughs> okay, apparently Calculus, I likes chose rumors. answers Let's for fucking this. Aaron. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm decent, uh, or you're decently smart, I should say. Alright, what are you doing this time? It's loading. Oh, is it? Yeah. I couldn't tell because when it's not my turn, I'm not allowed to interact with anything. <laughs> Hello. Having a little bit of connectivity issue, give it a sec. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh god. My <laughs> fucking pattern is ridiculously stupid. Okay. Why? Let's see. Where would I find a tentacle girl? <laughs> is that who you're going for? I want to. Hello, <laughs> well. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, as though the muses themselves descended to give you the fear figurative oral sex, <laughs> your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for all generations, which is pretty rad. Wow. When you go to remove your costume, you see Scott still wearing his tree suit. You haven't seen a tree look this bummed since Woody and... Woody the Ents' parents Woody were cut down to make way for that mega mall. <laughs> you ask God what's Whoa! wrong. Hmm? There's a bird in his crotch. Hmm. I really thought I was gonna be an important part of this play, bro. Your tree. I mean, trees are important, right? They give oxygen and shade and, and you can pee on them. Plus the director called at me and... What? It sounds so a much trezo. A trezo. It sounds so much fancier than an actor. So I, I, I don't know why I feel so useless. What's a bee? A trezo means prop, you imbecile. You're not an actor. You're scenery. But but I'm not scenery. I'm a per- Tell me, I'm good. I'm a good boy. You poor mongrel. The entire purpose of the scenery is to be in the background and to remain unnoticed. Although, altering the performance such that a tree becomes the primary focus would be dreadfully avant-garde. In fact, it could be my greatest artistic achievement yet. Alright, Scott, I'm going to make your dream a reality. We need to brainstorm. How can we make the tree the center of this play? Scott's not a tree. He's a tree person. He comes alive <laughs> at his last second and rips the bad guys in half. What if everyone was scenery? <laughs> everyone? Everyone. <laughs> you mean all of us would just simply stand motionless for two hours dressed as various inanimate objects? That would be the most daring performance I've ever conceived. 
A rejection of the tyranny of action and plot and characters and environment. Entertainment. No, environment. <laughs> <laughs> but won't people get bored? Of course, that's how you know it's art. Hooray! And I'll be the tallest one, so I'll be super important. You leave Scott and, <laughs> with Liam and uh, <laughs> who has promised to teach him how to become the tree on a truly spiritual level. You gain smarts and charm. Wow. All right. Oh my god. Your turn. My stats are awful. <laughs> four, 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 four. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm over here playing golf or something? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, the bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> that you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because you don't respect the authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathroom. I am now bold. You're checking out some plates of pasta on your dating app for people who are so lonely that they're starting to consider dating a plate of pasta. Luckily, Calculester interrupts you before you keep spiraling down like that. Oh, I could date a robot. I get you a Roomba. <laughs> Roomba! With googly eyes. There you are, Suki. I was about to engage it <laughs> into a complex plotline protocol, but I was worried I might fail at it. And then it came to my mind. Suki is proficient in shenanigans, so I thought if you were okay with helping me, it would be cool. You tell Calculester that you're in. You also tell him that there was no need to use air quotes for the cool. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I'm already learning stuff. Exciting. So there's the thing. So I, so far I've been enjoying being alive, but recently I've started to question myself. Am I doing life right? Am I good at living? I do not know. All of this is so new to me and I might be doing it all wrong. So I wanted to consult some expert living organic forms so that I can crack the correct formula of existence. Yikes. Oh, don't make that face. I'm not consulting you, my friend. My data shows that you tend to answer questions based solely on how likely the answer will lead you to dating your classmates. <laughs> Fourth wall broken. <laughs> <laughs> it is valid to me, but useless for this endeavor. But my data also shows that you excel at wacky misadventures, so you might prove a worthy partner for this. But no... I thought the best course of action would be. Before I know what, what the I know what the what I know what the hangman is. It's butts. Eh. Hey, but I I put a T in there before. I just only put one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, would be consulting the two organic living forms that were key to turning me into a sentient being. If they pushed me into life, surely they have plen <laughs> they have to be plenty wise. Look, there they are now. What's up? Oh god. <laughs> Hello. How did they make use It's Nate and Aaron. Yes, but I, I'm just going off of because Nate and Dookie would play games together. Hello, fellow organic mm. life forms. Hey, friend Scott and friend Damien. I am trying to solve the dilemma of finding the meaning of existence. And since you brought me into existence, I thought you might know. Fuck yeah, we know. Do we? Yeah, Scott. So, being alive is like being this orange. Damien pulls out a slightly squished orange out of his pocket. Aha! Oh yeah, you need to be like the best orange ever. Uh, as long as you're not a lame banana. <laughs> so, you need to win the game of life by being an orange. Hmm. And remember not to be a banana, Cal. Also, I think it's very important to be super high on vitamin C if you want to rock at being an orange. That way you can be the best orange ever! <laughs> 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 
Yes, yes. And you can also bring destruction to all other puny fruits. Punny. Punny. Nah. Same, same. <laughs> I am honestly having a hard time following your line of thoughts, my friends. That's because you don't have to follow us. You need to follow the orange. Or you're supposed to be the orange? Fuck. <laughs> this is clearly not going anywhere, and these two are not the best at metaphors. It's apparently up to you to lead them into building a valid life lesson. But how? We're talking a lot about... What is this orange is supposed to be, uh, supposed to do or to be? But have we asked how the orange feels? Just eat the orange. I'm gonna eat you, calculester. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> 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 I, I like this one because of the memes. Awesome, bro. Not so charming, but it's a great idea. I mean, how can you expect me to be charming? I have a tr I have all my stats of four. Mm -hmm. Are we yeah. sure it's great? This sounds kind of dumb. The only way to know, let me build a sensor capable of reading the very low brain waves of an orange that the orange produces. This way, we, we can know if the orange is thinking and feeling. The let me see. Brain waves. <laughs> oh, why that face, cow? It seems... <clears throat> seems we have an R2-D2 orange. Uh, it seems that the orange is very, very racist toward any being who has limbs. Actually, it seems it's a very widespread among the oranges. They seem to have a lot of unhealthy hatred for any life form who has any kind of limbs. They think that we're mentally inferior and more prone to delinquency and overall laziness. It seems there's been a shared belief that strict Im immigration policies should be created to deport most of us to our own country. Oh god, the orange! Mm -hmm. Politically correct! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. The Cheeto! Hmm. hmm, but isn't this our country? According to most oranges, no. They believe that being with limbs are strictly from Belgium. And they don't want us taking their jobs here in their country. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? What is this DLC here? <laughs> Loser. Enough. Damien eats the orange. It was, was in 2019, so it was it was in the middle of it. This is a very stupid idea, Suki. Mm -hmm. Indeed, nothing has been accomplished. Best protocol is to follow. To follow is to send you to the thinking corner for you to reflect on your very, very bad ideas. Wow, you spend the next four hours in the thinking corner. It's so not fun, fun, is it? that fun. You <laughs> that you actually lose three fun. Well. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna go get some fun. Did you just random instead of? Why did yeah, you? Yeah, because we're oh. trying to speed through it. Remember? That's true. I mean, we could always just uh, say first thing that comes to our mind and then click random. But that's true, though. All right. All right. Who's first? You? Me? It's me. You? Uh, who am I even going for? You want to go talk? To Damien, I know you like meat. So. I mean, true, but am, is is my little boy going for the the scoundrel? <laughs> sure. And he could. I could. You find Damien and Vera contemplating a huge slab of unidentifiable prime meat. <laughs> All right, Damien. I know we had our share of disagreements during this convoluted poaching expedition. <laughs> <laughs> like when you told me not to bring all my knives. But I trust that we can put our differences behind us and enjoy the fruits of our labors. You mean the meats of our labors? Yes. Together we will enjoy this raw, bloody cut of meat as a symbol of our... Wait, raw and bloody? You mean you're not even going to try using fire on it? 
Of course I used fire. I specifically instructed the chef to prepare this meat while glancing briefly at a lit stove. Okay. What? <laughs> Did the fire ever, you know, touch the meat? What would be the point of that? A cut this fine can only be eaten ultra rare. Like hell it can. You wait here while I get my culinary flamethrower. Damien, please. Let's be reasonable about this. What is... reasonable? <laughs> <laughs> what? What a foreign concept. If we can't come to an agreement, let's appeal to an arbitrary third party. Suki will surely make the intelligent choice for us, isn't that right? I mean, I don't know, can you guys uh, ingest ultra raw meat? Because I'm pretty sure most humans can't. But tartar. y'all aren't really humans. Tartar. Beef tartar? Jennifer, what? beef tartar what is, the... is literally just raw meat. It's not good for you. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, beef is perfectly acceptable to eat raw. I have heard otherwise. <laughs> I have very much it so heard otherwise. It depends on the uh, cut quality. And, you know, if there's any bacteria living in it. <laughs> there isn't. But that's the point of cooking it so that you can cu cook it off if there was any. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, meat expert, I'm going to continue reading now. Okay. My word, the steak is too cooked already. Rub some ice on it and douse it in blood quick. <laughs> the only correct way to enjoy a steak is after it out. It's a charred remains that have been re retrieved from a burning building. Oh my god. These are s well, so the opposite. Well, you want to impress. <laughs> <sighs> Well, seeing as I've hardly even seen Mr. Uh, Devil Boy here, you know, and I saw her all last time. You want to go for Vera, though? No, but I mean, but I saw her all last time, basically. <laughs> yeah. I want to uh, mix up my my matter. the people that I've been talking to. Uh, I guess that I'm going to go with a well well done steak. <laughs> I guess. Apparently, yeah. That's what I like to hear. That and the sounds of screaming people fleeing from the burning building. But roasting totally destroys the flavor of... Done talking! Fire time now! <laughs> As you flee screaming from the burning building, you find Damien right beside you. He takes your hand and smiles. Aww. It almost makes the third degree burns and massive property damage worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this! Well, okay then. Speaking of fire... <laughs> well... Uh, Zoe seems to have brought some fe fresh sanity, is what it said. No, pardon? She's, she's currently siphoning sanity out of his eye sockets? What's happening? She has a screaming man strapped to the table and is currently siphoning his sanity through his eye sockets. Friend Zoe, I am afraid I must take issue with your current practice. Ow, child. What, eating? The manner which causes a human to repeatedly scream, kill me, while avoiding his bowels and bladder, it does not seem nice. Are you for real? Look, I was born this way, okay? Well, not so much as born, but more ripped from the fabric of reality itself and animated with equal parts of raw malice and the concept of despair. But still, don't judge me! I do not possess the necessary firmware to judge you. I do, however, wish that you would find another way to attain sustenance. You can't stand to see these two at odds. Maybe you could convince... Zo, I'm still going with Zo. <laughs> Until somebody in the cast tells me it's Zoe. Uh, to change her ways or convince Calculester that they don't need to be changed. Why don't you eat this vegan brownie I brought? What? It's probably way tastier than that guy's sanity. <laughs> oh, come on, Calculester. Sanity isn't even the top five worst things that she could be devouring from this dude. What? <laughs> 
status skeptical. Please list five things worse to devour from this man besides his sanity. Oh, that's easy peasy. Deep seated insecurities. Poop is another. We got crippling fear of death persistent in all mortals. P. And the worst of all, opinions. Are his opinions really that bad? Mm. Well, he's a prominent user of Reddit. <laughs> Understood. Analysis complete. Sanity is an acceptable fub food substitute compared to several things that are worse. <laughs> nice. It's like I always say, when life gives you lemons, compare those lemons to all the, <laughs> the all-consuming void. The void is way worse than a couple of lemons. You couldn't agree more, mostly because you're interested in smooching her. But still. Aye. I just wanted to go for Zoe. I mean, that's fine. Let's do this! You gonna, mm. you gonna go buy a used condom? A what? <laughs> I said a used condom because last time you got a used tampon. <laughs> I bought a dead man. You did buy a dead man. <laughs> you got a whole five money uh -huh. like I did. You could afford a dead man. Oh. <laughs> You're doing a rave. It escalated. There's a shit ton of people here. They're summoning shit. Bad stuff's happening, but it's fun. Oh, I'm getting all the notifications right. You hear some unmistakable growling. Uh, it appears intergalactic lions have broken through space to devour one of the smaller, weaker students. No, wait, it's just the wolf pack. Guess it could have meant two things. Oh, uh, what was happening? I was apparently t talking to Scott in the wolf pack. About what? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Oh. For the last time, is this a bromance or a bro treason, bro broski? <laughs> You're my teammates and my family. I'm not trying to be a bad Scott, but... This is the third month in a row you've missed our full br full moon bro down. We got together and practiced a wolf pyramid and then helped each other in inject sleep or sheep steroids. I thought that said sleep steroids Steroid. so they could go to bed. No, nope, it does not look like that. I mean, it looks like it. Just isn't that? We play the flip cup with lamb with lamb's blood spite with natty ice. What the fuck? I don't know. That all sounds really nice, but I already had plans and I didn't want to let people down. One of us. One of us. Bro, you're a wolf. Are you with the wolf pack or are you with those other monsters? Oh damn. You're one of those other monsters. You better do something. Let me teach you a new game. Extremely long distance fetch. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. On the inside, aren't we all wolves? <laughs> Bro, really? You think a little game of fetch is really gonna work on us? Cause it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it will, we love fetch. Scott, not now, bro. Play it cool. Play it cool. <laughs> <laughs> you hold up uh, the headless kitten squeaky toy you always keep on hand, just in case. Then, using everything you learned in Portal, the class, not the game, um, <laughs> you open an interdimensional rift. It's... It's so squeaky. Oh man, broski, the squeakiest. Such a squeaky little kitten, bro. You hurl the toy into the portal and the entire wolf pack dives in after it without a second thought. No, bro. Oh man, the portal closed. I wanted to catch the squeaky toy. I hope they'll be home in time for sports practice. They will be. These rifts in space, time last 
about as long as Scott's attention span. So not so long. long. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll be distracted enough to leave Scott alone with you. Time for some quality bonding. You got charm and smarts. All right. Wow. Kitten. Your turn now. Kitten, why do you have to be sitting where my mouse goes? How am I going to play the game? How am I supposed to use my mouse if you keep sitting on the mouse spot? Move your, know, move your little bro. tootsie, kitten. Let's see. So I am smart, bold, and money. I am not fun. I don't know who I don't know who I'm going for or what they want. <laughs> just like last time. Same. I just I just want my interdimensional beauty, but it keeps throwing me at Scott. I mean, again, your interdimensional beauty is not a candidate. He does not go here. <laughs> no, she is. Oh, oh, you mean Zoe. I thought you meant uh, the guy I from last Zoe. time. <laughs> no, I mean Zoe. Because last time you wanted an interdimensional beauty. <laughs> That's why I told us to get- that's why I got you the DLC so I could actually have one. Oh my god. I feel like you'd play a sucker for love and you'd be the, I wanna date you, I wanna kiss you. Uh, let's see, so let's do something that we're already kind of good at. Maybe I'll get some money. Let's go get some money. Hi there, cutie pie. I found your profile. Let's chat. <laughs> that day you spent mm. some time on the library's PC, sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. Hmm. Mm hmm. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such a blatant scam? Right. You lose 10 karma, which is not a stat in this game, but who cares? So you gain two money. Introduces you to one of his little plant friends. Hello, fellow organic life forms. Hello, this is my little jade plant friend, Robert Plant. Say hello, Robert. Note, I am aware that Robert is incapable of saying hello, as he is a plant. Also, he does not have a gender. I am merely engaging in your, in you, what you organics call imaginative play. It's very, very extraordinary. Who the fuck is that? Yeti? Uh, is, no, it's the mushroom that's talking that's attached oh, to the, the Yeti. You are correct. There is a... Okay. Aw, look at you two. The mushroom. You're so cute together. You're about to say thank you when you realize that they're addressing Calculester and his plant. Hmm. Calculester and Robert. Everyone at the school is so afraid of commitment, always flirting, never settling down. It's refreshing to see a robot and a plant actually dating. Mm -hmm. I believe you are mistaken. Robert and I are not dating, actually or otherwise. You aren't? But you care about him deeply, don't you? What's this mushroom? I want to know who the mushroom is. <laughs> <laughs> in as much as I understand the concept of caring, yes. And if anything ever happened to to him, you'd be devastated, right? Once again, you've asked me a- That sound like a threat. You'd- <laughs> A question about feelings, and I once again must say... Probably? <sighs> and he's completely dependent upon you for sustenance, correct? Finally, an uncomplicated question. Yes, this is unobjectively true. Unequivocally true. Hmm. Sounds like you're dating to me. Oh dear. I had not considered the possibility that my attachment to Robert Plant might constitute a romantic entanglement. <gasps> but perhaps. Perhaps you are correct. No! You can't let Calculester believe he's dating this plant. Not if you have any hope of dating him yourself. Quick, prove him wrong. <laughs> Actually, according to this very th thorough teen magazine, robots and succulents are romantically incompatible. You can't be in a relationship with Robert because I am. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Scandal. Uh, I'm gonna go with this teen magazine because it, uh, I can't date Robert. <laughs> 
I'm incompatible with Robert. You pulled out the dog-eared issue of uh, Wear Tiger Beat that you always keep in your backpack for just such occasions. Love is in the air. Huh. Human and food processor, werewolf and whole turkey leg. Oh, here it is. Robot and succulent. <laughs> what does it say? Am I in love? Hmm. Mm, no. According to this arc article, succulents and other plant-based creatures tend to be asexual and aromantic. A deadly combination for a robot trying to learn how to feel romantic love. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> It's a shame, but so oh, look, honey, they've got parasitic growth yeti in here too. Let's see what it says about us. Oh, it's a parasite on a yeti. It's a parasite on a yeti. Okay. Huh. Never let a parasitic growth anywhere near your paris pristine yeti brain. It'll move in and completely take over your personality. This isn't even about romance. It's a health issue. Steer clear. You're like a bad trip. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> This magazine has no idea what it's talking about. Our love is perfect. Isn't that right, sweetie? Tate lets out a low grunt, probably signifying agreement, and slowly, almost unwillingly, tears your magazine in half. See, Calculester? Don't pay any attention to that stupid article. Love is love. Embrace your new relationship. Affirmative, but... How shall I proceed? <laughs> Buy him some flowers. Plants love flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches love flowers. <laughs> you want blue? I got blue. <laughs> Calculester heads off to buy some flowers to give to his plant. Oh god. You head to buy another copy copy of Where Tiger Beat. That uh, that one had been a limited edition cover. You lose some money and fun. I have zero fun, Bailey. You have zero fun. I am not fun in the slightest. I'm gonna need to just go and dance for the next year. <laughs> Cause yeah. that weekend. Something happened to me. Of course. All right. That weekend, you find Scott gazing lovingly at a pickle. What? A sad look in his eyes. Oh, hey, bro. Maybe you can help me make a really tough choice. See, I really like Chaste, but I'm not sure I can commit yet because I also really like this pickle. <laughs> Look at it. It's so green and boardy and exactly the right size for a pickle. Chase is such a good person, but this pickle is such a good pickle. I can't choose. Won't you help me? That, that's literally just a pickle. You can make out with, with Chase while also having a pickle. That's fine. Please tell me that's the polyamory. Uh, <laughs> Are you telling me Is you just throw away this pickle for a chance it chased? A pickle like this only comes along once in a lifetime. I, I like the one. Yeah. You, you can have the pickle and the person. <laughs> Meanwhile, okay. my, my actual response is, are you looking to have a committed relationship with this pickle or eat it? Because normally you eat a pickle. You're telling me I can have this pickle and go out with Chaste? But Coach always says you can't have your pickle and eat it too. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that if I go out with Chaste, I don't have to eat the pickle? Well, yes, th that's a true thing. You have no idea why he thought he would have to eat the pickle. Unbelievable. All this time I thought I, I was really having a pickle. <sighs> but it turns out... The pickle was inside me all along. Uh, did you already eat it? <laughs> uh, no, things got kinky really fast. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Or, I mean, out, outside of me. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be inside of me. Um, and I don't need to be inside of it. It's so simple. <sighs> It, it, it is simple. Way simpler than Scott's making it. Um, but you know... <laughs> you know better than to get in between a werewolf and his pickle. I got three charm. Wow! 
Well, I'm glad I gained something. <laughs> well, we can challenge, you know. I'm not in a hurry anymore. True. Since I have delivered the payload. Also, I'm hoping that me crunching on some chips is not going to be obnoxious. 